What's up, Tickers? How's it going? Um, I just wanted to talk about how uh, funerals are just born. Um, I had a dream last night about, you know, something kind of similar, and then I walked outside the day and had a cigarette, and it was like two people were coming back from the funeral. And um, I have a priority, you know, I'm always like, up, up here. You know, which always sounds, you know, really gay, um, really, you know, falsely happy. Um, I've realized that you know, looking at someone and saying, you know, they did good deeds and, you know, they were this and they were that really makes no sense at all. And it's just graphic, um, you know, um. One of the first things you'll notice is uh, thinking of the devil and worshiping it, and how that has to do with uh, just a horny penis that has sex with you all day. That's why people go like this, you know, so they can be pounded by the horse. And um, it's really hurt my feelings, you know, for sure. That hurt my feelings doesn't have anything to do with anything that is not sexual uh, by nature. And, um, we're facing the wrong direction and life you know could really be a lot better than it is uh, because there's so much more to get out of our bodies I mean facing the wrong direction and not understanding exactly you know what you know um, a funeral is and especially you know one that has you know a religious person to follow um, that is mandatory uh, who would be pounding you and probably this area, you know, if that's how you have your time. But anyway, so here's my little diagram and everything. Um, this is just about how, um, you know, small movements um, really do into the body. Uh, just when the body's disabled and you have to follow someone else, just dispatch. And I had, she's just like, you know, walks like this, and then once she starts going like this, and she walks like this only, uh, it seems when I get exhausted or tired, um, that my body, you know, intermittently, you know, seems to be, you know, walking like this, you know, and it seems to also be the way you know, I get punched in the back, and, you know, Anyway, this has to do with uh, basically what would happen if you don't understand how that works. Because uh, small movements of you being exhausted um, usually ends up before you uh, die or something happens to you. Usually you'll be in a small area where all of your body is kind of uh, compromised and you feel weakened. And uh, it looks like a fairy to me. You know, if that's what a fairy is, well, I don't think that's very cool. Um, here we have some more physics for you, kind of compare, you know, crying. These two kind of pictures here, you know, um, this here you know, looks more like everyone in the funeral, uh, simply because the tears are coming out of the eyes, there's a little bit of mouth there, it's trying to eat or do something while something's going on, something that isn't present during a funeral, which I realized, um, so if I could be at my funeral and play a Game Boy or and, you know, like eat some food or like interrupt the thing going on, I don't understand why eating food isn't any different, but um, that kind of crying and being that old and having all those wrinkles is definitely being the world flood. And um, <clears throat> I think it's disgusting. I think it's facing the wrong direction and it should not be allowed. Um, here I have a little diagram, kind of from my last video um, about kissing nothing and how that is a uh, non-prosodic unit. Because see, if you say something is what it's not, you know, um, then that prosodic unit would have to be something that can build something, to fill up mass, to fill up a face, and to give a definition. And without it, there's really no point. Um, and since we're facing the wrong direction, we have the funeral, and it's not porn. It is porn, 
because everyone else gets away with something. It's just like how America is the greatest country, but the only reason is because they get away with a certain thing that I don't get away with because I disagree with them. Obviously, it would be the fact that funerals are just porn. You know, that would be one of the biggest reasons. Here we have a uh, letter Q and how uh, it, it kind of falls into a slot comfortably and how, you know, if you have a little boundary like this, you know, or like a little whirlpool, or if you just look at this for long enough, you know, um, you'll probably want to see how something will fall in there since gravity could rule you. And I think that that is also another problem, you know, is that everyone's leaning and holding on to something and then, you know, they're like, oh, I can't take it any longer, you know, and they hold on to something and they're like, you did a good job, she did a good job, he did this, you did that. It's always about how someone got pounded by a big fat penis because uh, there was nothing else going on in there. It should just be about porn because that's all it will be and it's all it'll ever translate to because there's nothing else for it. It's the only thing that will, you know, rejuvenate the body, supposedly. Criminals are just porn. It's just secret porn. It's kind of like when they had marijuana legal and it was legal in certain places and where it's legal. It's not really a big deal and it's not really a secret and it's not Thing amazing because you know it's nothing you can get away with and it's just not you know <clears throat> kind of secret. It's a little walking and how you know the human head you know um, kind of leans left and right as it walks. Um, it, if, if if all this stuff is taken into account, you know you also have uh, the skeleton. You know will hurt. The little place here where your neck will hurt, and it's when um, this is forcing it to happen, and it forces it down your neck, and it will hurt your neck in certain places. I've always had you know that issue because my grandmother, you know, was a <clears throat> you know, um, you know, a dancer and a, probably a prostitute. And at least, you know, was a slut, you know, at least was called a slut, you know, and um, obviously, you know, talked about her neck all the time and how great it was to have it out of place. And um, just having to sit there and be, you know, courteous, for example, is another thing. And it's just wasting all of that sexual energy when you think that someone bent over like that, you know. I had a chance to be perverted, and I was, and I would always sneak and hide and had other reasons for every other thing. There's no reason I'm just going to all of a sudden be a changed man and, you know, not notice it at all, you know, because that's what people do. That's what being alive is. And, you know, when you don't want to hang out with somebody, you will get really perverted, you know, probably, or do something like, you know, or just find something else, you know, but that's the point there. And um, this leads to also um, kind of the uh, big body here. Um, see how the big feet are, big hands sticking out of a lump. And then it has a uh, head here, which is leaned forwards. And then the neck uh, is uh, basically avoiding this, but it's still there. Or the fact that it does have this hump neck. And it's just where uh, the head is dislocated and is not looking at something and will not turn to look, and when it does turn to look, it doesn't turn. It's kind of like a, a giraffe, you know, stuck in one spot, and it's just eating leaves from the one area, but does not have a way to turn around and see anything. And if it does, it just turns one way or the other, and it's still limited by a blind spot, which is your porn. <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, um, it's pretty useless to um, say some things about a person or say anything else at a funeral uh, simply because it seems to have to just be porn. And um, it's just where the people, um, all, all lives, you know, if you look at plants and everything, people watch them standing straight up and they wait for them to die. And um, also, you know, when someone is willing and gets up and moves and is in a uh, predictable movement, people use that and push against it or you know, do anything they can 
we interact with it. And uh, when something is that predictable and it does the same exact move, it is dead, basically. And <clears throat> because of that, um, people wait on others to die and they find reasons to kill the person. And I think that it's all useless. I think the corn would probably be a better idea. Uh, but it is what it is. And um, it's a very perverted nature to kill someone or want them to die. But you have to realize that if uh, dying, well, dying is a social dynamic, and dying definitely is something that is caused by other people. And it does require communication for everything in the world to work. And, you know, a lot of work and, uh, to get all that out of there would be nice. Another thing to look at is uh, probably the, uh, hold on, let me, let me, let me this is just a character that I just constantly, you know, watched. It's a little yes. cloud person. Yes, yes. that's it. You that guy. One last thing to zoom. You click and hold both the mouse buttons. You move the mouse towards you to zoom out. Like this. And you move the mouse this away from you to zoom, zoom in. So. Zoom anyway, in just the way that that person you. is, now you really try. To, which just kind of keeps it in place. Um, you know, it's a big issue for me, but um, just I was like, you know. Yay! You know, this kind of winning emotion is like, hurrah! You know, and just all this gay stuff that, you know, isn't even good for people, you know. And, um, <clears throat> anyway, that person, like, if you look at him and study him for a long time in the game Black and White, um, you realize that. Um, it looks like someone, like, a smiley guy, like, won in the lottery, you know, he's like, I'm winning, I'm winning, you know, it's really slowed down, and it looks gross, it looks disgusting, and it looks great, and it looks wonderful, you know, yeah, people out there, I think I was but yeah, um, you know, the old contour of a body is really nasty looking, or really good looking, you could say. I thought that something nasty would be something that isn't good. And it also might be another form of that, you know, where, you know, someone says something's ew, gross, and it's actually something good. You know, maybe it would be something good, you know, since something bad has to do with smacking and fucking. <clears throat> well, it's just that. You know, basically, someone with a head and arms and their legs, you know, kind of like this. Um, you gotta put him in jammies, and you know, he's winning the lotteries. Yay! His head moves left and right like someone's idle foot, which isn't being watched. Or, you know, the body in the uh, foot here. Which isn't watched, you know, should make a clown nose and it shouldn't make, um, you know, dusted dead body parts of dead skeleton that could actually rattle in the movements that we use. And um, the legs here, you know, it's like this, like a baby jumpsuit, you know, so like if, if one leg goes out, one goes in and it just kind of cuddles, you know, it's like your legs here would be like in, out, in, out, like you're still in the little bag, you know, like a little bean bag. So a lot of that stuff is really unused and there's really no touch used during all of it. And just to have stuff just sitting there with no cultivation going on and no answer as to why, you know, I can't cultivate energy and be able to live instead of just be at a set point and then just from the windy road and then die. Now, I wanted to be able to learn, you know, how to be like a super saiyan, you know, someone who is, but not P, you know, not like just, and just knowing how to um, cultivate energy and not die and just kind of study the science of that's all I've wanted to do. And it seems that 
funerals being porn is probably one of the things that will be understandable. It's something that I could understand. And, you know, that the good and bad morality of everything and the whole thing is just about getting pounded and probably being used to pound, maybe. But it just seems to be one-sided, really. It seems, it seems like something that's good or bad, you know. I mean, in a sexual situation, something good or bad actually could be good is a bad thing and bad is a bad thing and good is a good thing and bad is a good thing and it seems to be okay you know that just something is what it is um, I know that's you know kind of more to study and kind of more to uh, socially take out of culture is how something is good and bad and innocent and guilty which all has to do with the same thing and um, Seems to be just which cheek is it? Is it the left cheek or the right cheek? You know. And regardless, I mean, you know, when you see breasts, you know, it's also balls, and the head is obviously a dick. You know, just for those of you that did not know, and also, you know, uh, everything has symmetry like that. You know, so just want to let you know that and how you know funeral. It has to do with smelling, too, because, you know, fune, cone, um, corn, you know, I mean, when you smell your toes, you know that it's like a funeral. It's like if you could smoke a cigarette with your feet at the same time and have those long nails, it would look just like a funeral is being had, you know. And um, it's kind of a different feeling, you know, it's like people would rather use the uh, top parts of these, uh, like they have the long nails and kind of not emphasize the bottom of the hand or the naturalness of the hand and just the extension parts which touch the hand, you know, kind of like if someone had briars in them already, kind of poking into their skin and how not touching them would uh, kind of help with something. So there's a lot of reverse engineering that has to be done, and it's, that's just one thing. I mean, there's thousands of things that need to be redone, and it's a completely different way to look at culture. And it would change every last bit of the world. <coughs> and just, you know, how you're like, <coughs> think about being in space and how, you know, this movement is, you know, in space. And um, you'll get, realize how, like, if you kept using the movements you have, in a space station, uh, a lot of the things would kind of not be useful, like saying, you know, he was a good person, and, you know, because you're not looking up at anything, you know, you can look in any direction, and, you know, also you have to push off of things, and, you know, there is no, you know, like, this movement here would kind of regulate to a uh, mosquito, kind of like, swimming, you know, or like kind of wiggling or a worm wiggling instead of it being, you know, a set posture, you know, it has to be, you know, another way for the uh, flow to kind of open. <laughs>